Lindsay, you bring up an interesting question for a tool that I've never used before. In particular, because I am a resource teacher and I don't have access to students, I wonder about creating profiles for the teachers that I see when I meet them. Though I do have a different situation than most, um, I do have to come up with a quick profile on a daily basis of the audience that's sitting in front of me. And I have to remind myself that every teacher that comes into my room comes with something different in mind as to what their expectations for learning are, the way they think and the way those ideas are either accepted or rejected by their peers. They also have to think about the way that they've traditionally looked at problems and what we're asking them to do now and how they cope with change as well, whether or not they have special needs. And many teachers actually do have uh, special needs and went through our special, special education system as well. So delivering workshops to a one-size-fits-all doesn't always work. And it's not always fair to teachers to put them in the same box as everyone else. Um, so it's interesting that you bring up this idea or, or I guess revisit the idea of creating profiles and I thought I'd look at it visually in this manner and it's definitely something I will consider as I deliver workshops across the Toronto Catholic Board.